with the men, when you start them on HCG or in clomiphene or clomid, do you expect to get a certain percentage rise in free testosterone? If you say, the, I'm going to give you 3,000 IUs of HCG a week, I expect your testosterone free and total, I don't know yes. um, the percentage that it sure. increases, to go up by 300 points. Is there sure. uh, some kind of expectation that you have. Yes, so remember this. When you're using medications to raise a man's natural testosterone, you are dependent on his ability to do it. Some men can, some men cannot. As they age, they're less likely to. So I tell the residents, it's like putting fuel in the car. You can put all the you want. The car will only go as fast as it can, right? So the younger men tend to respond better. So typically what we do is we use HCG or clomiphene citrate. But at some point, at some point, the body says, I can't do it anymore. I can't make any more testosterone. Um, but younger men tend to respond. Um, I, I like to use clomiphene citrate. It's off-label. It's used for women uh, for fertility. But what it will do is it goes to the brain, increases something called LH and FSH. That goes to the testicles, and the man can start producing his own testosterone. Mm -hmm. Now, there's I'm a little biased. I believe that clomid can do something called a discrepancy effect. 40% of men, in my opinion, roughly, will... Um, have an increased number in their testosterone, but they don't feel it. They say, doc, I know my number went to 800, but I don't feel it. And there's a reason for that. 